the Earth did not always look the way it does today. Our planet has always been changing. So has its wildlife, constantly adapting to the globe's transformation. A few 10,000 years ago, a new species evolved, the Homo sapiens sapiens, and that changed the world. Nowadays, in the era of the Anthropocene, all ecosystems are subjected to human impact. We have turned forests, savannas and grassland into agricultural land and urban areas, rivers into transport routes and wildlife into livestock at an unprecedented rate. Biological diversity and the resilience of wildlife species and ecosystems is key to all life on the planet, particularly our own. Our knowledge of the many interactions between wildlife, its environment and us is still limited. Why are some species threatened by anthropogenic change, whereas others persist or even thrive in degraded, modified or novel habitats? At the ICW, we think science-based knowledge is paramount for conserving biodiversity. There's many wildlife species that are important for ecosystems. If they're affected negatively by human pressure, then that is likely to lead to the loss of important ecosystem services. So our approach to this is to understand the evolutionary equipment that they have, the traits and adaptations inherited from their ancestors. If we understand them, we understand how they will cope with or not cope with uh, human pressure. And that allows us to predict future responses as well as design appropriate conservation interventions. The natural world is complex. Millions of species interact with each other in elaborate ecological systems. To determine how species and ecosystems respond to environmental changes, the six departments of the IZW integrate research in the field and the laboratory with biobanking and computational biology. Here, biologists and veterinarians jointly conduct research for conservation. Our long-term field studies extend from Europe to Africa. At those places, we follow individuals across multiple generations and over various life history stages. Sometimes we follow individuals over their whole life, from birth to death, because that tells us a lot about which fitness-related traits are important in defining reproduction and survival. We do it by classical observation, by sitting in a car and observing an animal, but also by using highly advanced GPS techniques or acceleration sensors. We take particular pride of the fact that we involve stakeholders right from the beginning of projects to learn what they are concerned about because that tells us a lot about how to turn human-wildlife conflicts into coexistence. Disease represents a major threat to wildlife. They can affect individuals, populations, and even entire species. We study diseases of free-living and captive wildlife, including bacteria, viruses, and parasites. We're interested in the ecological, evolutionary, and anthropogenic factors that drive pathogen adaptation and the variety of host response to wildlife diseases. Our goals are to distinguish species-specific factors from general principles of infection biology to better understand wildlife diseases. We all should be aware how fragile biodiversity of our planet is. What we do here, we investigate reproductive strategies and human-induced reproductive disorders in wildlife. We develop new conservation strategies based on advanced assisted reproduction technologies and stem cell associated techniques. By breaking new scientific ground, it is really important to us that animal welfare and ethics are an integral elements of our research. By covering the entire pipeline from field studies via biobanking to lab work modeling and knowledge transfer. 
The IZW scientists work both for the advancement of basic research and its practical application. The production is very important for the survival of any species, but the knowledge on this is very scarce. Here, we study reproductive characteristics of wildlife animals, and in particular, we are interested in the impact of the environment on fertility. To do so, we investigate the development of oocyte and sperm cells, their interaction within the female genital tract, and also, of course, we are interested in the endocrine regulation of reproductive processes. We want to know how a genotype, the DNA, is being translated into a phenotype. And how has past diversity evolved and how is it going to evolve in the future? And we use both molecular and statistical tools to do so. Because we want to know how vertebrate diversity can be maintained in the future and what is the capability of species to adapt in the future. Our vision is to improve predictions about the future viability of wildlife populations and communities. And for this, we need to gain a detailed understanding about the processes and drivers that act on individuals' life history, but also the factors that shape the spatial distribution of wildlife populations and communities. And we do this in our long-term field projects, where we actually use modern technologies. And then we go to the lab and we use modern computational statistical tools, but also dynamic stochastic simulation modeling. And with that, we actually contribute to advancement in theory and concepts in wildlife research, but also, on the other hand, to improving conservation at the landscape scale. Using an evidence-based research approach, the IZW scientists assemble important pieces of a giant puzzle. They contribute to an understanding of wildlife responses to a changing world by studying past evolutionary processes. This enables them to develop the tools to forecast responses to current and future changes. They investigate how individuals cope with diseases and how this is influenced by environmental conditions, expanding their understanding of how diseases can render populations more vulnerable to environmental changes, and vice versa. They also integrate research on specific biological processes in an environmental context, by focusing on challenges such as species interactions, land use changes, human-wildlife conflicts, or climate change. The IZW scientists develop and evaluate pioneering technologies and methods for novel conservation strategies for critically endangered species. Last but not least, the IZW collaborates closely with stakeholders and organizations crucial to the sustainable conservation of wildlife. Every day, our research documents the tremendous impact that humans have on wildlife, on the planet, and increasingly on ourselves. At the ICW, we aim to make a positive impact through state-of-the-art research and the development of science-based practical solutions for conservation. We will continue to improve our toolbox of skills and competences and make full use of the new developments in technology in order to conduct wildlife research that makes a difference in the Anthropocene. That is what we work for, and that is what we live for.